Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are playing with the new Cricut Mini Easy Press 2. So I'm super excited about this. It fits right in your hand, super little, and this is going to be great for our small projects. So today I created five small projects for you that you may want a little mini Easy Press to pull out. So I thought we would go ahead and try five Easy Projects, like I said. Plus, I wanted to fully put this guy to the test with glitter, everyday iron on. We have mesh, and then like we have some layering going on. We have some pattern vinyl. There's gonna be several different types of iron on that we're going to test out. So we're really gonna put this to test. So there is a high, medium, and low. So you can see that here. So we've got, you're gonna have low, medium, and high. And then this is where you're gonna change that temperature. The cord is quite long. I haven't plugged mine in just yet. And then that bottom, just looking at that, that bottom is the same bottom that's on our it's on our bigger easy presses so you guys can kind of see that there it's got a nice point on it um it's about three of my fingers it's about three fingers wide it's super super tiny so the only difference with this one compared to the other ones really is the you're not going to have where you can see your numbers like just a high medium and low and then you're not going to have a you're not going to have a timer on this, but you can always get a timer like this. You can use a timer on your phone. You can ask, um, I'm not going to say the name, but we'll call her Alexandria. You could ask her or your Google. You could ask them to set a timer, things like that. So there's other ways to use, you know, to have a timer other than that. But a lot of us, I mean, you pretty much kind of know what 15 seconds kind of feels like, especially after you. So maybe just do that as well. The one thing I want to say about the base, it's definitely got a little bit of weight to it. Um, not super, super heavy, but it's not going to just tumble over. So it's got nice weight to it. It's super nice. I'm going to let you guys check that out. And it's got a little thing down here that shows you, you know, that's that this will be up and then this will be the bottom. It's got nice feet on it, so you can see where it can breathe, but it's really nice, so that's gonna fit right in there like so. All right, so let's go ahead and plug this in, and then the other thing I wanna show you is if you go over, let's open this up, we're gonna use the iPad today. If you go over to Cricut's Heat Guide, and I'll have that linked below, you can now see that they have the Cricut Easy Press Mini. So you can choose between that one, the Easy Press 2, and then the Cricut Easy Press. So you can now choose that. And it's gonna be the same way. So like we're gonna start with, for example, we'll click on our Cricut Easy Press Mini. Then you're gonna choose your materials, and we're gonna be using everyday iron on and then for our base material the first one we're working with is a hundred percent cotton hit apply and then it's going to tell us so we are going to have it on medium it's 25 seconds it's got constant movement so you're going to be moving it around and then light pressure and this is going to be a warm pill which actually let's go change this the first one we're doing is a pattern so let me change that pattern iron on 100 percent cotton apply so that's what's going to be really cool. We've got different textures. We're going to have different um, iron-on. So I know I've got some glare going on here, so hopefully you guys can see this. So we've got 25 seconds on medium, constant movement, light pressure, and it's going to be a cold pill because it is the pattern iron-on. All right. And then it'll tell you the supplies needed, preparation. You're going to want it to preheat five seconds and all that snazzies. So it has that same information that you would have before. So let's go ahead and get it heating up to the medium. Let's go ahead and plug it in. We've got, so now let's go ahead and set it. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna lift it up here and we're gonna push that so you can see the red. When it turns green, it's gonna be ready. So there's low, medium. So we want it on medium and even your temperature, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's even red. So we're gonna wait for that to turn green. So we'll see about how long that takes. So we know it's 25 seconds. We need to preheat for five seconds. Let's go ahead and prep our surface. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use, I'm gonna use our smaller one. So you could use any of your mats with this. You can use a really big one, this one, or the small one. I'm gonna use the small one today. Just to give us the extra room. Okay, so I've already got everything cut out and I'm gonna try to scoot stuff over. All right, here we go. So I've got some fun projects. So the first one, let's start with a t-shirt. All right, so we've got a pocket. So, you know, with our other ones, you have all of these seams to worry about, but I wanna show you, look, this is gonna fit perfectly between those seams. So we're not gonna need, you know, like a little cushion or anything like that, like we would normally would to lift it up. We're gonna be able to just pull right out our little one and get those pockets. So let's start with a pocket. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and prep this. Just getting it, making sure it's on our mat. It's already heated up. You've seen how fast that was. You can see now that everything is green. So it's going to preheat for five seconds. So we want to make sure we're moving because I'm going to cover this whole pocket. Have you, if you've seen some of the new shirts out, they've got where their pockets have glitter and stuff. So it'll be really cute to put some more pattern as well as like glitter. Okay, so for this one, I've cut out of the pocket. I'm going to share the files all down below. I had pr I already made something where this is like a basic size of a pocket. You can always test yours. This is how... This is what I would do when I'm testing something like this. I cut it out with cardstock first. So then I know, okay, I want to make it a little bit smaller and I'll keep testing my size until I get it where I want it. So just cut it out with cardstock first. So that's a trick with anything you're working with, whether it's layering, cut it out with cardstock first. So I've got that where I want it. So to hold it in place, I may want to add some heat resistant tape. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take two pieces of the heat resistant tape here, just like so. So, and just hold this down. That way I don't have to worry about it moving and shifting. So I'm just getting that where I want it, about like that. All right, just like that. So here we go. So we got 25 seconds, and what I'm gonna and you want to constantly be moving it. So I'm just gonna keep moving. Making sure I'm getting everything down. And remember, it's just light pressure, so I'm not having to go too crazy. I think I'm actually pushing probably more than I need to. All right, so I think that's about 25 seconds. And remember, this is a cold pill, so we're going to let this one cool down, and we're going to come back to it, all right? All right, so I think that's cooled down enough. We're going to go ahead and peel that up. All right, looks good, super cute. So, so far you can see how easy that was on the pockets. You don't have to worry about the seams. It just perfectly went on there. So, project number one, super cute pocket. So you could add, you could do a monogram on the pocket or glitter or whatever it may be. So, we did a cute little pocket with a t-shirt, how cute. All right, now, and I'll also leave, link below, I'll leave the patterns that I use. So this is a Cricut pattern. It comes with three different ones and I'll leave it linked down below. So, oh, next easy project. Let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and do a dish towel, okay? So, you need to give a, a quick gift. We're going to do a dish towel, and I'm just going to unfold it about right there. It's good enough. We're going to preheat, and at first, we're using the everyday iron-on, so we're going to leave that as well. And this is also 100% cotton. These are the flower sack towels. All right, so we're going to preheat that. And then for this one, we have this really cute, it says eat more pie. So it's gonna be that same thing. It's gonna be the 25 seconds. So you're gonna have that. I don't think anything's overlapping. Yes, we got, we're gonna have separate pieces here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my pie down. Let's see. So let's go ahead and start with the eat more pie. So we've got 25 seconds. So we're just light pressure, constant moving. So you're just going to go back and forth. All right. So this is a warm pill. We're going to let it cool down just a second. All right. So I think that's cool enough. So you want a warm pill. We're going to go ahead and peel that up so you can see how nice. So now let's go ahead and move on to our next piece. So we're going to go ahead and get, let's get this pie piece down. All right, just like that. All right, same thing, 25 seconds. Constant moving. All right, we're going to let it cool down for just a second. All right, so I think that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and peel that up. So we're gonna get our, this, so we're gonna go ahead and get this layer here. Same thing, 25 seconds.
All right, set that aside. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and kill it up. Looks good. So now for our last piece is going to be glitter. So I'm gonna do a silver glitter. So let's see what we need to be on. All right, so let's do, we're gonna do glitter and then we're gonna do 100% cotton, apply. It's gonna be medium as well. So medium for 25 seconds and this is a warm fill. So we're gonna go ahead and get the glitter now for 25 seconds. All right, looks good. Let it cool down for just a little bit. And same thing, peel that right off. Looks good. So it did very well on the flower sack towel. Everything came out really well. I'll bring that up so you guys can see. So it looks really good. Let you guys kind of check that out a little bit. Super cute, but look how that just touch of glitter added, right? So very nice to just pull that out and roll out a very quick gift. So that's our second project. So let's go ahead and work on the third one. For this next project here, let's go ahead and work on a cheer bow. So how nice will this be for the cheer bow? Now cheer bows are usually, this is made out of polyester and mine does not say, so that's what I'm gonna choose. So it's gross green is what it is. So you wanna either choose polyester, nylon, or silk. So this one, we're gonna go ahead and just choose polyester. So we're gonna come back up here, make sure we have Cricut Easy Press Mini. We're gonna come over here. First thing we're gonna start out with is Everyday Iron On Light. And then for the base material, we are going to choose polyester. Let's see if they have gross grain. I bet they don't, but um, it just should be polyester, okay guys? So let's choose polyester, or you could go with nylon or silk. But if yours says what it is, just go with that. All right, so let's hit apply. Hit apply. So it's medium, 25 seconds as well. So now this is gonna be another fabric. So let's go ahead and check this out. So what we're gonna do is this one right here, we're gonna have Ashley. So we're gonna start with first. So now this font here is Heidi Swap. So this is the Heidi Swap font. So we're gonna get that down there. So we've got Ashley. All right, so we're just going to for 25 seconds. All right, looks good. We're gonna let it cool down because you wanna do a warm pill. I think that's cooled down enough so let's go ahead and peel that off looks good so that did very well for a cheer bow so let's go ahead and do the other side now this is going to be layering as well as we're going to be using the mesh so we're going to be using that mesh so let's go ahead and get this down first and i will have this the font for these down below once again it'll say cheer bow font so that way you guys know which ones i chose these are free for access heidi i think i purchased a long time ago for my mystery box so that one may not be part of access i'll look into it all right same thing so you have 25 seconds all right we're gonna lift that up let it cool down for just a second all right, I think we're ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and peel that up. So you just wanna do a warm pill. Looks good. It's not taking away any of our lines. So if you guys look there, it looks really, really good. It's not uh, messing up with the integrity of the bow at all. All right, so now let's go ahead and change it to mesh. Now I'm assuming this is gonna be the same as the glitter. It's probably gonna be the medium for 25 seconds, but let's be sure. Okay, let's double check it. All right, so remember we are on, so now we're gonna be doing the mesh, glitter mesh. We're going to choose the polyester, apply. Same thing, medium, 25 seconds, and it's a warm pill. All right, so we got 25 seconds, so let's go ahead and get it on here. All right, looks good. And I've already messed up because I actually wanted to put that up here, but it's fine. It'll be cute. All right. I know the light's probably glaring on that VHS, but so you guys can see why it's cooling down. Looks good. But look at how good that mesh looks on top of the black iron-on. So that would be really cool with any other colors as well. Just absolutely adore the mesh. Super cute. So let's go ahead and peel this up. There you have it. Look at how cute. And like I said, look at these lines. Look at the lines. We didn't have any issues at all. Hopefully you guys can see that. Looks good. We've got a line where the iron was, but that's it. Super cute. How cute is that bow? Super 
cute, right? So third project, we got a really cute personalized bow. So you're just going to pop that out and have that ready to go. So there's our hair bow. All right, so we have two projects left. So we're going to be doing a hat and we're going to be doing some shoes. And they're going to be using the same pattern here, which is a um, candy corn. But we're using everyday iron on as well as the glitter the we're gonna have a candy corn on the hat and then we're gonna have them on the shoes i think it's really cute to just have the one so let's go ahead and do that first okay so we're gonna knock out this hat project and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take out this piece of cardboard now this is polyester and i've already checked the settings it's gonna be the exact same so it's 25 seconds on medium so let's go ahead and get our first layer on here. When working with hats, you may want to use some heat resistant tape. So that's what we're gonna do here, is we're gonna go ahead and use the heat resistant tape. What we're going to do is I'm gonna take my mat here and I'm going to start pressing. So remember, we've gotta constantly be moving. All right, now this is a warm pill, so we're gonna let it cool for just a second and then start peeling. All right, there we go, looks good. So there's our first layer. Now for our next layer, it's going to be this orange here. All right. Resistant tape, just to kind of hold it on one side there. All right. So once again, you want to use that mat underneath, and I'm going to go ahead and go right on top. Looks good. Now once again, this is a warm pill, so we're going to let that cool for just a second. I'm just going to use my tool here, because the way that these cut out, I accidentally had it on glitter setting, so it cut all the way around. All right, so there we go. Looks good. Now let's get on that next one, which is glitter. It's the same setting, so that's awesome. So now we're going to go ahead and get this layer down, just like so. And I think I may have enough stick on the plastic. I don't need heat resistant tape. We'll see. I think I'm going to do it to be safe. All right. There we go. I may have shifted just a tiny bit. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and get my mat underneath. All right. So 25 seconds. All right, looks good. Now be careful. I push too far. I push too much, and you guys can see where I kind of skid through my iron on. And I'm going to smooth that out just a little bit like so. But definitely be careful so you don't do that. And I could actually probably... All right. So there you go. Now, if you accidentally get into your iron on and you're like me, you kind of got a little bit crazy and you pushed it. All I did was go over it with another piece of your um, Teflon sheet. You could always cover this with a Teflon sheet in between so you don't mess nothing up. I could have covered that side back up with its plastic or just not pulled its plastic off to be safe, especially since it was cut right on the line. So there's that. Now let's go ahead and get our last piece, which is this piece of white. Now I will say, and I wanted to mention this, do not ever layer iron on, regular everyday iron on, or any other kind of iron on, on top of glitter, because it will not last. It will come off. This will not adhere very well to the glitter. But since this is something that is, um, something that's just kind of for Halloween, probably gonna have one use, maybe worn a few times and trashed, I've decided to go for it. Now, if not, you could have always done a knockout on the glitter, so that way this laid perfectly flat, so I could have trimmed out on my glitter, or I could cut it down and just have a mark here and a mark up at the top, so that way I'm not going on my glitter. And we're gonna be doing this several more times here in a second. So I wanted to point that out, but if this is something that you want longevity, definitely don't do that. So this time, I'm gonna go ahead and try to cover the other parts of my iron-on to protect it, okay? So, definitely gonna make sure you do that. Now we're gonna do the same thing. So it's gonna be 25. So we're gonna do the same thing, 25 seconds, pushing down. So 
So you just need light pressure and we're just constantly moving. All right, looks good. Right, there you have it, super cute. So I actually shifted my white a little bit. This one was a little bit of a mess, don't judge me, but it's still super cute. So now you can see that that's another thing that's another thing that you can work on is hats. So I think that came out really, really cute. Especially, you know, you've got hat day at school and all of these things that you need to throw out a really quick, quick project. It's nice to pull this little guy out and you guys can see the bottom is still super clean, looks good. All right, let's go ahead and work on our last project. All right, so for the last one here, it's going to be our shoes. For the shoes here, this is what I'm going to do. These are just plain cheap black shoes from Walmart. I think they're super affordable. They're like five bucks. I think 588. I'm going to take a towel, which I'm just using a, and it could be any towel, kitchen towel. I'm just using one of those um, flower sack towels. I'm going to get it down in my toe here. So that way it gives me some support. Okay. So what we're going to do with this one, it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be the candy corn. And once again, I'm going to have this file link down below. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And this is what I'm going to do. You can always tape it if you wanted to, to be safe. We're going to go ahead and tape this just like so. All right. So we need 25 seconds of constant and this is canvas. All right, looks good. I'm going to let this cool for just a second because it's a warm pill and peel that looks good. Super cute. So now let's go ahead and get on our next layer. So we've got the orange piece, and I can do these at the exact same time since these cut out all the way. So if you wanted to do that as well, so you can avoid so many layers, that's one thing to think about. You could always cut these to where it cuts all the way through. Um, just up your settings a little bit. So like this one right here was on glitter, which you don't want it too deep because of, especially if it's in intricate. But if not, um, they'll cut individual like this. So that way I could get this layer on here like so. And then I could come in and add this one right on top and get them both at the exact same time since they have the same temperature. So same thing, I've got that towel inside and I'm going to push down for 25 seconds. I'm gonna let that cool down for just a second. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the glitter and then come down here. And I'm gonna take my weeding tool and pick off that plastic, just like so. All right, super cute, working out really well. And we're gonna get on that last piece of white here. All right, so just like that. Take a bigger piece of that plastic to cover everything up and push down for 25 seconds. We're going to let it cool for just a second and then peel it off. Now, once again, keep in mind, you don't ever want to layer on top of glitter like that or it will just come right off. But if this is something that's not going to last very long, it's more for a project, Halloween, something like that, then don't worry about it. Let it look good. Don't take your time of, of knocking it out or anything like that. But if you want it to last, make sure you knock out where that glitter is so that way it'll lay right down inside. All right, so that's how you're going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. I'm going to show you guys this toe and keep going around the shoe. So now that we have both shoes done, look at how cute that is. Is that not cute? I love it. So now some of them I added the, um, what do you call that? Like a, I added the glare on them and then some of them I didn't try to switch them up a little bit. And then some of them I also, it doesn't have the underneath layer. It's just these two pieces here. So that way it looks like the candies kind of broke off. Because that's just for the tip anyways. I really should have sliced that and just used the piece, but it's fine. Um, and then, like I said, didn't put glares. Like this one, I didn't put glares on any of them except for this one. So, um, now I didn't do the inside. You could always do the inside of your shoes as well. But it's super easy, super fun. So, you guys seen here how easy that was. It truly is really easy to get these. So, you just want to take an old hand towel or something, a wash rag, 
and get it all the way down in there to the toe. And then on the sides, I just hold the wash rag or towel on the sides and then push it there as well. So now if you get on any spots where it comes up and out, you can always trim that before or after the fact. So right here on these edges, I could always trim that off as well. Just a little tip for me, if you plan on using these for a little bit longer than like, say these are a project, they're not going to last very long and they'll sit in my closet for a year or two until I toss them out or donate them. So um, that's why I said don't put this, don't layer on top of glitter unless it's just something that's just temporary, you know, just like a little, um, like a project or something like that. So like for me, this doesn't matter because it's not something I expect to last a long time. Um, but a trick for me is when like you're messing with some creases here. Um, when it's still warm, so once you get done ironing, not too, too hot, but fairly warm where you can handle the heat, I start to really rub those into the cracks. I rub it while it's warm into those cracks. Same thing with this. I get them down into the stitches, so I keep rubbing it. This is after the iron's off. It's just sitting there, um kind of hot but warm but like i said as long as you can handle it and i'm rubbing it into those stitch lines so that way it'll last a long time now to take note when you're messing with shoes with rubber and stuff like this if you bump into them it is going to melt a little bit it will completely wipe right back off of here because it's got that non-stick coating so it just wipes right off so it's no big deal um it's more just harm for the shoe than anything but it don't look bad i think it's really cute but that would be such a great teacher gift. These would be great for you as a teacher to wear to school. Um, when the kids have to dress up for those like Halloween and all those, you know, 4th of July, it'd be really cute to make some cute shoes for school. But look how cute those are. And then, like on this back here, I really could have got some on the back as well back there. I could even come in and cut off the tip and then just have the tip of the candy where it's coming out the bottom here. So I could come in, take my scissors, and cut that to where it looks like the tip of this is actually peeking through, if that makes sense. It's got a nice point on it to where you can get as close as you can there. Um, and like I said, just use the wash rag to hold that. But I just love the way they came out. I think they came out really cute, super adorable. All right, so let's go ahead and take a recap. How cute would it be to replace these with some orange shoelaces or gold? Really cute. It's kind of funny because fall's coming up. This is like all fall except for these two here, which I mean, you know, football season, but the shirt and the hair bow don't match this stuff, but this is like a cute set. How cute is that? All right, so let's go ahead and recap really quick. So we've got the t-shirt here, so you can see, you can personalize your pockets. So I could completely cover those with a pattern, or you know, like I said, the glitter, you could do a monogram or whatever you want to, somebody's name on there, their logo. So you could do your pockets really easy without a fuss. You could do those gross grain hair bows and make those super, super cute. And especially with this piece right here, because you could lay that nice and flat, and I could have got up here as well. But I really love how that um mesh turned out i think it's super super cute and then i love the heidi swap that's really cute i love the font for that heidi swap um but i really love the way that hair bow came out and then for the towel here so that's just you know trying to roll out a really fast gift you don't want to lug anything out to be able to pull this little guy just to be able to pull that out and whip out a towel is really sweet and i'm talking from glitter all the way down to your everyday iron on going you know just kind of moving all the way around it came out really nice but i hope you guys can see that texture coming through there it looks really really good i love it all right and then we have our hat so you guys seen how i did the hat here came out really cute so we we can now get on some hats and then for the shoes to roll out some super adorable shoes how stinking cute i love them i cannot wait my daughter's gonna wear these for school like i said whenever they've got that week where they have you have to dress up like a superhero halloween like the 80s and stuff like that it's just gonna be a ton of fun so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys found it helpful. I hope you guys are going to check out a little mini iron. Let me know down below what projects are you going to be using it for. Um, did you already purchase one? And uh, let me know your thoughts below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.